Hi friends, I'm Scott Giles, minister and hypnotist, and welcome to Power Talk, my video blog where I cover topics that interest me, focusing on how you can use the power of your mind to take control of your life. If you want to know more about my professional work or sign up for my free e-newsletter, Power Lines, check out my website, which I'll tag in the description. Well, today I want to focus on the art of taking a break. Now, as someone who has made his entire career in the area of cancer care, I've long been a strong advocate for the power nap, simply a person in treatment for any life-changing diagnosis will experience a predictable fatigue that comes from that treatment. People who have not experienced it do not, in my opinion, really understand it. You know, they think the person is tired when should rest, but that's not quite what's going on. Yes, they, they need to rest. But the fatigue that comes from medical treatment isn't something you can really rest from. You are as tired when you wake up as you are before you took your nap. But that said, still taking that nap is essential to keeping your body systems working. Even if that nap doesn't bring relief from fatigue, you absolutely need it in order to have physical resilience in the longer term. That said, for the rest of us, taking a power nap or a power break is also essential, just for different reasons. Science now tells us that the human brain was never evolved to handle constant activity. As far as we can tell by looking at skeletons and so on, the human body hasn't changed much since the late Stone Age when we as a species harnessed fire and developed clothing. With those innovations, we could survive in harsh weather and that got us through an ice age, even though it's believed that our ancient ancestors evolved in a, a warm equatorial region. But what this means is that your brain evolved to handle the stress of a primitive tribal campsite. It was never evolved to deal with the 24-hour news cycle, the demands of the Industrial Revolution, the worker state created by unrestrained capitalism, and so on. And the result is that illnesses that have a stress-related component are everywhere and increasing, and most of us don't feel that great. Well, research increasingly shows that taking brief respite breaks, just a 10-minute power nap or a 10-minute period of downtime, can be transformative because it lets your brain reset and repair. Now, even though I'm a fan of Apple computers, my hat is off to Microsoft, which on April 20th, 2021, published an article on its work site called Research Proves Your Brain Needs Breaks. It was a study they commissioned that showed conclusively that workers are more productive if they take periodic breaks in the midst of their work. This is a quote. The back-to-back -back meetings that have become the norm over the last 12 months just aren't sustainable said Gerard Sapato, Corporate Vice President at Microsoft 365. Microsoft proved this by monitoring the brain activity of participants using an electrocephalogram, so the results are absolutely real. And Microsoft was as good as its word on this, putting settings into Outlook, the Microsoft Office task management software 
that allowed one to schedule those breaks, and then they encouraged their workers to turn on those settings. Well done. More companies should do the same. We know that at the top of each strand of human DNA, there are structures called telomeres. And the longer they are, the more resistance a person has against inflammatory diseases. The shorter they are, the less resistance. Well, chronic stress, even low-level chronic stress, causes those telomeres to shorten. And that's why companies are learning to build in stress management technology to keep their own workforce healthy. Now, in my opinion, the leader in this area is Google, which has actually employed a mindfulness master named Chain Meg Tan to teach a required course in mindfulness and emotional intelligence to Google managers and executives. If you want to know more, check out his book, Search Inside Yourself, which I highly recommend and which is, in my opinion, one of the best books on this subject. It's fun, easy to read, and is based on solid science. Tan points out that taking a stress break is not giving in to boredom. It is a repair of body systems that is completely needed. Now, I'm a minister and a hypnotist, so let me say that I think the regular practice of hypnotism is a great way to learn how to manage stress and build physical and emotional resilience. But let me focus on the spiritual for just a minute. In the literature of mysticism, the mystics of all ages and places have used the metaphor of light as a way of expressing clarity. One is in the light when one has put aside fear, put aside the influence of others, and achieved a moment of clarity. And they have all taught that living your life with that sort of clarity is the best way to live. But that will not happen if you are letting yourself be crushed by situational stress. If you want to live with mental and emotional clarity, you need to take stress breaks during your day. Give it a try. I believe you will be impressed. I know I was. Thank you for your time and attention today. I'll be back next week with another talk on a different subject. I'd like to invite you to join me. It helps me a lot if you tell others about my videos, so please like, share, and subscribe. If you're wondering if I can be of help to you, feel free to reach out through my website for a free no-obligation screening call and we'll talk about it. Have a great week.